we are going to show you how to replace or repair the keyboard mechanism for compact keyboards. What you will receive is a rubber spring cup and the key parts. Depending on your purchase, you may or may not have the key cap included in your order. If you do, the clip must be removed from the back of the key before the parts can be installed. These are the parts attached to the back of the key. The easiest way to remove them is by using a small tool such as a little screwdriver. Get underneath the clip between the clip and the keycap and pull the pieces apart. You'll want to flip the clip over as shown. We are going to show you how to replace or repair the keyboard mechanism for compact keyboards. What you will receive is a rubber spring cup and the key parts. Depending on your purchase, you may or may not have the key cap included in your order. If you do, the clip must be removed from the back of the key before the parts can be installed. These are the parts attached to the back of the key. The easiest way to remove them is by using a small tool such as a little screwdriver. Get underneath the clip between the clip and the keycap and pull the pieces apart. You'll want to flip the clip over as shown. Now it is time to place the clip onto the keyboard base. Before this is done, we must make sure that the clip is oriented correctly for it to go onto the keyboard base. What you're going to have is you're going to have these two pieces down here clip underneath these two pieces of metal here. These two pieces here are going to clip on these two pieces of metal here. As you can see, the clip must be face the right direction and flip the right way for it to go on to the keyboard base. The best way to tell is to observe the clip. See how this one has the inner piece of the clip and the outer piece of the clip. The inner piece looks like this rectangle here and part of it protrudes out off the top. You want that facing towards the top of the keyboard. Now you also have to make sure that the clip is flipped the right way. upside down and right side up look almost the same. The only way you can really tell is to look at the key from the side. You will not be able to see this on camera. But look at it from the side and look at this piece here and this piece here. They're raised up a little bit. If you can see the pieces of plastic raised up then the clip is flipped upside down. You'll need to orient it back this way. Here looking at it from the side you will see everything is flat. No pieces of plastic sticking up. This is the correct way. Now to put the clip onto the keyboard base. First you want to take the clip and you want to get these two pieces hooked onto these two pieces first. That is the inner part of the clip. Slide them on as shown like that. Now push the clip up holding it and you're going to push down the right and the left parts of the clip. What's going to happen is these plastic cutouts are going to go underneath these pieces of metal here. You may want to help with your tool a little bit to get it under there. The clip should now be secured on all four corners. At this point, if the rubber spring cup has come off your keyboard, now is the time to replace it with the one provided. Simply place it in the middle of the clip and that's all you need to do. Now the final step is to put the keycap onto the keyboard. Place the keycap centered of the clip, center on the keyboard, equal spacing between all the keys, and push down on two corners and then the other diagonal two corners. You should hear it click into place 